Happy Monday, this is Danelle from Painted, and today we're gonna to introduce a new Fusion Mineral Paint Color of the Week. This week we are featuring Raw Silk. Raw Silk is from the Classic Collection. This color is extremely popular. When customers come to me asking for a white and they don't want a bright white, but they don't want a white that looks really yellow, Raw Silk is usually my recommendation. So today what I'm gonna show you guys is a up close personal look at Raw Silk along with um, colors it complements and honestly it kind of complements everything because it is a white and whites work well with other colors But we're going to also talk about some top coats and also some complementary stains. So let's take a closer look So let's start off with the pairings of stains in the fusion line with raw silk now because raw silk is just a really nice Off-white I guess we can describe it as it pairs beautifully with majority of the stains so I want to give you guys a closer look. If you're going for like a deep contrast, here it is with ebony. And this just shows you two coats of ebony versus one. So it honestly looks good, you know, really dark, but I'd probably just stick with like one coat coverage with the stain and that's a beautiful pairing. My favorite would probably be cappuccino. Um, I just think cappuccino gives a really nice rich color next to the raw silk. I also pulled driftwood. I think if you're ever going for a cool coastal effect, I think the driftwood stain paired with the raw silk is really beautiful. And let's pretend you wanna paint a dresser and you wanna do the base raw silk, but you wanna do the top um, kind of raw wood, but you kinda wanna have a washed effect. Um, you do have some options. You could use the raw silk as a wash, but if you're looking for like a really durable alternative, you could use the white stain and finishing oil. And this shows you what it looks like with two coats over raw wood. And like that is really neat together too. So that's another option. Um, one thing I wanna point out is what not to use with raw silk. Because I think, you know, we can talk about what works well, but it's also important to know what not to use. So if you were going to want to seal raw silk for like a heavily trafficked surface, such as a kitchen tabletop or kitchen cabinet, something that you feel like you're gonna be washing a lot. If you wanna to top coat it, I would recommend using the Fusion's Clear Tough Coat. This works well over light colors such as raw silk in the white family. I would not use our finishing oil. This will have an ambering effect and it's gonna manipulate the color of your raw silk, kind of giving it like a yellowish amber cast and I don't think that's what you guys would be going for. So in the event of top coating, go ahead and use the clear tough coat. So I always show you guys what our featured color pairs well with. Now in this case, and honestly in my opinion, whenever you're working with a white shade, white shades pair beautifully with all the colors. Um, I'm not gonna go through each one because honestly I think they look great with them. You can kind of just get a quick idea you know, it, it looks nice. Now maybe the ones I would kind of hesitate or stay away from is if another white tone because possibly if I put raw silk, you know, against picket fence, it still could work beautifully on a piece, but maybe I don't want my raw silk to look dirty against picket fence. And then when you do a color combination like that, it might make one color appear, you know, brighter or I don't want to say dirty, but darker than the other. So you would just have to use your discretion, but really raw silk pairs beautifully with everything. Um, I don't have our brand new color, which is Damask. I don't have um, a sample board painted with that, but to be honest, I would really be excited. I think, you know, those two colors are awesome and pair really nicely. So when it comes to raw silk, it's pretty safe. You can put it with whatever you like. So raw silk does come in our two different sizes. It comes in our 500 milliliter pint size along with our tester size. Now, typically the coverage is about 75 square feet. What I want you guys to remember though, is when working with a brighter, or I'm sorry, a lighter color such as raw silk, your coverage is gonna be different. So if I was painting it, this was just a pure, you know, pine sample block. This is two coats coverage and it's nice solid opaque coverage. But if I was painting raw silk over a really dark stain, such as something as dark as like this ebony, it's probably gonna take more than two coats for great coverage. 
Now today I will do a demo and show you guys what it looks like after the first coat of coverage, but my sample boards are just like plain, you know, pine boards. So keep in mind the coverage will definitely be impacted based on what your base color is. So we're just gonna go ahead and take a look at what it looks like with one coat coverage working over the pine sample board. I'm using the Stallmeister um, pointed sash. This is the 18 size. You guys know it's my jam. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go ahead, allow this to dry. But you can tell it has really good coverage because I am working over a really light color. So here's what the raw silk looks like after the first coat has dried and it's pretty great coverage. Um, you can still see where the knot was in the sample board. So I'm going to go ahead and just give it one more solid coat. So as I apply the second layer, it's giving me really great solid opaque coverage. So over a really light color, two coats is probably all you need. But over a darker color, I would tell you to expect to probably put on three coats when it comes to the raw silk. So I'm gonna go ahead and allow that to thoroughly dry and then we can talk a little bit more about some top coat options. So the second layer of the raw silk is dried. Now when it comes to top coating, it is not necessary with the raw silk because it does have the built-in top coat. However, if you want to add a little bit of maybe some aged look, like some patina, you can using some of the waxes, or you can also use the antiquing glaze. Um, the antiquing glaze is actually one of my favorite combinations with the raw silk, and I'll show you guys. Um, I have it as a display cabinet door in my studio, but it just shows it had raw silk, and then I kind of let the antiquing glaze kind of pool up in some of the areas just so it gives it like a nice aged finish. So that is one option. But today, what I'm gonna show you guys would be using the aging wax on one side and then using the espresso wax, kind of to highlight some details on your piece. So on this side over here, I'm gonna start with our aging wax. And I'm gonna apply it liberally, and then I'm gonna actually probably use the eraser effect by using the clear wax to wipe off any of the aging or the espresso wax that is too heavy. So on this side, I'm just gonna apply this one. Maybe I'll just go full coverage. I'm gonna allow that wax to sit a little bit. I'm removing as much as I can of the wax out of my brush because I am gonna use the same brush. And I am, if you're wondering, using the Stallmeister, their wax brush. So now for the other side, I'm gonna be using the espresso. And I'm gonna go ahead and do full coverage on this side too. And then I'll see what it looks like when I wipe back if I want to, you know, erase some of it. Go ahead and wipe my brush while I let that side set a little bit. Now on a piece of furniture, I would, you know, wait about a couple minutes before I wipe back. For demo purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe back already. And then sometimes if I'm working with wax and I don't get the effect that I want and I wanna add more wax, I personally like to wait until the next day to add my second layer of wax, just so that I don't start erasing wax by applying more wax to wax that still hasn't had a time to kind of set up a little bit. Okay.
but this already gives you a really good idea on how the wax kind of changed the color and gave it more of like an aged look. So here it is without, you know, doing the eraser technique. This is the aging and this is the espresso. And real quick, I'm gonna lighten up them a little bit. I'm gonna just fold my cloth and get a clean section and then I'm gonna dip it into my clear wax. And what you can do then is you can erase your dark wax, like if you put it on too heavily using the clear wax. So I'm gonna just go ahead and remove some. See how it works as like an eraser? And just wipe a little bit of it back. So if this was a piece of furniture and I didn't want that you know, dark of an effect, I can lighten it up. So I always tell people, you know, waxing is not scary. You just gotta play with it till you get the look you like. And like, I think that looks super cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here so you get an idea as well, using the clear wax again. And there you have it. So with raw silk, you have some options. You can leave the color as it is because it's very beautifully painted alone, or you can use it with some complementary colors such as any color in the line or some of the stains that we discussed. And you can even accent it using some of the waxes or even the antiquing glaze. I hope this helps you guys have a better understanding of the color raw silk.